Supreme Court issued a final decision of the term today, which included an opinion on a Texas law concerning how social media companies can moderate the views expressed on their platforms. But rather than delivering a definitive ruling here, the landmark case has been bounced back to the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals for further review. CBS Austin's Andrew Freeman joined us live in the studio tonight to explain why the Supreme Court ruled the way it did. Andrew? Well, in this First Amendment challenge, the U.S. Supreme Court says the federal appellate court hadn't properly analyzed the full scope of the case and in its opinion lays out guidelines on how they would like to see it litigated instead. I spoke with a constitutional lawyer who says while this approach isn't unheard of, it is unusual, though he also believes it to be wise. You might call it savvy move on the Supreme Court's part to handle the case this way. Austin constitutional lawyer Renee Hicks says when it comes to the First Amendment and social media, it's important the courts get it right. The court in the past has not had to grapple with what about that technology uh, means the First Amendment works a little differently over here or not? Does it work any differently over here or not? In 2021, Republican leaders passed House Bill 20, which was designed to keep social media platforms from removing or censoring posts that express political opinions. Social media companies sued under the First Amendment, arguing social media companies had the right to manage the speech on their platforms. It's not the public's website, it's their website. Uh, their platform and they get to regulate it. The Travis County District Court sided with the social media companies, but the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals overturned the decision. That's how the case ended up before the United States Supreme Court, who says the federal appellate court got the analysis wrong and to try again. The basic thing it said is that the social media platforms in general uh, are really to be treated similarly to the way a newspaper would be it. Treated. The plaintiffs see Monday's decision as a win with Computer and Communications Industry Association CEO Matt Schreuer saying in part, while there's more work to do, today's decision upholds the First Amendment and represents a victory for free expression and a safer Internet. Whereas the bill's author, House Republican Briscoe Kane, released a statement expressing disappointment, saying in part, their decision does not cause me to waver from what I have always believed. Texas was right in passing this law. Hicks says the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals may even choose to send the case back to the district court if the parties also choose to change their arguments based on the SCOTUS opinion. Both sides of the case and the Fifth Circuit itself have a lot of work to do to decide how they want to handle this ruling today. Now, theoretically, the case could make its way all the way back to the Supreme Court after everything is said and done, so the bill's final fate could be a long way off. But at least for now, the law remains blocked from taking effect. Reporting live in studio, Andrew Freeman, CBS Austin News. Thank you.